Swedish Talk Entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. So, Walking Dead, it's over. Post-Walking Dead blues. Well, at least for some people. Other people like me have the Game of Thrones to keep them busy for the next 10 weeks starting this Sunday. Then I go into Falling Skies. So I really don't hit the blues until after Falling Skies. Then it becomes a pretty slow three months for me, two, two to three months for me before Walking Dead is back. So I need to find a show for the summer, but that's a whole nother tale. Now, Walking Dead, so... Right away, you know, a lot of Walking Dead people here on the channel, some people ask me if I'm going to do speculation videos during the off-season. Um, definitely. I love to speculate. If you've seen my Godzilla movies, I speculate all over the place. So that's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a lot of fun to try and figure out what you think might happen next year and things of that nature. So what I want to do with this video, though, is I really kind of want to still kind of want to discuss what is what we saw in the final episode because I see some comments with people still not 100% convinced that Gareth and his group are a group of cannibals. Now, there is no... I don't want to say there's no conclusive evidence. I pointed out in my prior video what I thought was the obvious um, hints that they're cannibals. Number one, everybody noticed this one, which was the fresh carcasses in that cage. Those were not zombie carcasses. Um, zombie, if you remember, if, you look, if you've seen all four seasons, if you've seen The Walking Dead... You know that the zombies, the walkers, when you cut them open and when you hit them, their blood is very dark, almost black. I'll give you a prime example. Season 2, when Daryl and Rick are out looking for Sophia, they find that one zombie that's lingering about, they shoot him in the head, and they dissect him because they want to make sure that he hasn't eaten her or bitten her. They want to make sure there's no human flesh in his, t in his stomach. When they cut him open, the blood that comes out is like black. It's black. Those carcasses in that cage were clearly red, pink, fresh carcasses. The other thing is, look at how they how they herded them with the guns. They herded them where they wanted them to go. I mean, they really treated them like animals, like animals that they're going to feed on. The powdered milk, to me, was another thing. Somebody said, oh, well, that could have been for Judith or something. Well, Judith wasn't in the container. That powdered milk was on the floor in front of container A or train A. I say container, same difference, I guess. Um... That powdered milk was on the floor in front of Trailer A. We saw everybody in Trailer A. There was no Tyrese or Carol, so that that's not the case. I think the powdered milk is to is to fatten them up. I mean, they're not going to give them regular food. You know, they they need that. It's scarce. They're not. Well, they might try to feed them fresh meat from another human's body, but I don't. Th that's again, that's something they need. Powdered milk is probably something they can do without. They probably figure, all right, well, it's the lesser of all the evils, so let's let's eat, feed them this. There's a lot of fat in there. There's a lot of uh, probably nutrients and minerals. I, I don't know. I don't look at the back of powdered milk. I drink regular one percent milk. But the the fact of the matter is, is that there's probably a lot of fat content in that, and they want to feed it to them to get them bulky. I mean, this is common common like farming stuff you know like farmers they raise their cattle or their animals or their livestock and they fatten them up and when they reach a certain age and they're a certain size they boop butcher so i think it's pretty obvious these guys are cannibals now is there still a chance that they're not they're not cannibals yeah there's still a chance of that they're, 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 but i think those two for me are the key giveaways that they are you know what i mean um very different from the comic book. The hunters in the comic book, I, I can already see that these guys are going to be way different. What I find weird, and this is the only thing that I, I would take away as a counter to the cannibal theory, is the amount of people. I wouldn't think that cannibals would have that many people in a group. You know, when you consider they're all eating the same thing, why would you have so many? There's so many mouths to feed. And how many people are they really getting to determine this all the time when you think about it? I mean, a lot of people are dead. You know, what are they getting? A couple of people, what, every other week? Maybe more than that. So, but again, the bodies in the, the bodies in the cage look very, very fresh. And the other thing you got to consider too, let's take away the carcasses. Let's take away the powdered milk. Look at their positioning. Look at their positioning. They're at the center of everything. People can come from all different directions. What better way 
than to get your food than to have it come a come to you and b come to you from every different direction so now you're covering a greater range so i think the elements are there that they're cannibals i think that is pretty clear could i be wrong absolutely but i don't know i just think if you if you look at other things it just seems obvious to me that they are obviously cannibals the bodies the powdered milk being in a perfect position to get people to come to you the way you you're you're very hospitable they don't you know the, the the when glenn and his group got there and rick got there these guys didn't have guns on them these guys are very friendly uh offering food let them keep their weapons remember the governor didn't even do that the governor when andrea and michonne got there took the weapons right away these guys are like all right here here's your weapons back i mean and you could tell rick was suspicious and rick being the smart person that he is obviously he w he felt uncomfortable and the minute he saw that everybody was wearing different gear or clothing from the people he knew he knew right away something was up I think if I was Rick, instead of being that hostile, I would have said to them, hey, look, before we eat, you know, we just, we left some stuff behind uh, that we want to come and pick up. If it's okay, we bring it in. And then once you get out, then try and come up with a game plan. But that's that's just me, and that's that's how they set it up. It's a show. But you know what? I, I, I think next year, I think you're going to get Gareth and these people for a long period of time. I don't think this, this is not going to be a half a season type deal. I know it's not. Because what's going to happen is I think Rick is going to get everybody out of there or Carol, or maybe Tyrese. Um, whether or not Beth, Beth is still the, the wild horse, the, the wild card here, because I think she might be in Terminus, but there's no guarantee that she is. But I have a feeling she's there somehow, some way. Either way, I think overall the group gets out, and then these people saying to themselves, you know what, we can't let this go. This is a lot. This is a big meal for us. This is like 11, 12 people we're letting go. And then I think you're going to start to see them on the run. And then systematically people will get picked off um, you know, maybe a main character to die throughout the season. Obviously, uh, the hunters will die little by little throughout. That's just my opinion, though. So I don't know, but we'll have to see. But definitely, guys, if you have any kind of prediction videos or any kind of content videos you want me to do regarding The Walking Dead, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it. Otherwise, I have a lot of ideas that for videos for The Walking Dead I'm going to do. Don't want to go too crazy with them in the early setting. We got a long way to go, but we'll definitely keep posting on some news. We got. Another season coming, a uh, new uh, spin-off series coming next year. So that's something else to look forward to. So we definitely got to look into that. We probably won't see another trailer till Comic-Con, if not maybe a little bit sooner. So we got a lot of time before next year. So I usually do some of my prediction videos closer towards the season, like the death predictions and things like that. But we'll definitely do some. To we'll definitely continue to talk some Walking Dead here. Uh, it's one of my favorite shows. I really can't go without talking about it. So, but anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. So, Walking Dead, it's over. Post-Walking Dead blues. Well, at least for some people. Other people like me have the Game of Thrones to keep them busy for the next 10 weeks starting this Sunday. Then I go into Falling Skies. So I really don't hit the blues until after Falling Skies. Then it becomes a pretty slow three months for me, two, two to three months for me before Walking Dead is back. So I need to find a show for the summer, but that's a whole nother tale. Now, Walking Dead, so... Right away, you know, a lot of Walking Dead people here on the channel. Some people ask me if I'm going to do speculation videos during the off offseason. Um, definitely. I love to speculate. If you've seen my Godzilla movies, I speculate all over the place. So that's a lot of fun. It's 